All right, so we got a new definition in Article 100 for metering center. Now, this is a piece of equipment that, depending on what part of the country you live in, uh, you've either seen a million of these things every day. That's the case with me. The house I grew up in had one. Uh, the house I live in has one. Uh, or, you know, if you're particularly on the East Coast and the Northeast especially, you may have never seen a metering center. Um, if you haven't, you will, because there's a code change in 230.70 for service disconnects that's, I don't want to say it's going to make these mandatory. There's other ways to do it, but it's uh, certainly going to be the most popular way to comply. So let's take a peek here. Article 100 metering center, new definition was added. All right, this is a metering center. So a panel board in an enclosure that also contains one or more meter sockets. All right, so let's read the first two words and then stop. So a panel board, right? It's a panel board. This is a panel board. You can put circuit breakers in it. Now, in this case, you can only put one in each of the different individual centers. Uh, the house that I grew up in, if you wanted to turn off any circuit breaker in the house, you had to go outside. You had a 100 amp main, and then you had well, probably 15, 20, you know, single pole 15s and 20s, two pole 30 for the air conditioner, two pole 50 for the range, right? Uh, but all of it was outside. That was where the entire panel was, was in an outdoor metering center. Uh, those aren't quite as popular as they used to be, although they're certainly not unheard of. Uh, but more commonly, we would just see a meter and a disconnect, right? And that would be a metering center. Of course, you can also see um, a metering center that has the meter, has a main disconnect, and then provisions downstream of it for a couple of other uh, overcurrent devices, other, you know, a couple of other circuit breakers. So maybe you can have a panel board upstairs and another one downstairs, or you can back feed uh, solar PV into it or have an air conditioner or something out there. So a lot of uh, versatility with metering centers. There's a million different types. Uh, but like I said, you're, you're, you're probably already seeing these more than you did uh, in previous years back in the 2020 code. You know, there's a pretty big code change, section 230.85, that requires an exterior disconnect for one and two family dwellings. Uh, that stayed in the code for 2023. Spoiler alert, in the 2026, they took that section out but only because they changed 230.70 to say that the service disconnect has to be outside. So, big change is coming in Article 230. This change was added really to kind of support those changes in Article 230, right? So, metering center is a product that's been installed for decades. It just never really had a name and uh, now it does. So there you go. See you guys on the next video where we have a little bit lengthier discussion on the definition of swimming pool and permanently installed swimming pool. So we'll see you then. Be safe out there. Thanks everybody.